G'day, I'm Drew from Gingo Productions, and today we're going to be looking at how to match a shot using raw or raw settings. So, we have two equally bland shots of a chair in an equally bland room. This one is even out of focus, just to be even more bland. So, this one looks a little bit better in terms of white balance. Let's grade this one, and then we'll match this shot here to this shot here. So let's bring up our scopes, and we'll do this real quick. Let's just try and get a nice white even line up here. That looks pretty good. So let's just bring down those blacks a little bit. And try and get a little bit more balanced. Doesn't have to be perfect. That looks good enough. And let's just try and get our mids a little bit better and again fix up those whites. And then let's add some contrast, or saturation, contrast. Something like that looks pretty good, doesn't really matter too much. And now, we want to match this shot to this shot. So we could, of course, bring up our scopes and bring them down and see if we can balance them out. Etc. Etc. Reset all nodes, control home. Since we shot this in raw, and this also works for raw, what we can do is come across to our camera settings here and decode using go to clip and then do the same for this one over here. Decode using using clip. Now, when we copy this grade onto this grade, it's going to use all these settings to match this shot. So if we were to do this without doing this part here, so we go back to project, set this one back to project. As you can see, it's all blue. So it hasn't copied these across at all. So it's, let's just control Z that. So again, clip and clip. Now when we copy it across, it will copy the color temperature, tint, and any raw settings that we have. So right middle mouse button or holding control, apply grade. And as you can see, it is still blue. That's because for some weird reason, DaVinci Resolve needs you to make a adjustment for the color temperature to do anything. So all we have to do is basically just move it around if in like one point. And then DaVinci was like, oh, Okay, so now you have these two matching shots. So this one here is a little bit brighter, so let's make a new node, Alt-S, and holding control, click this image here, and come up to split screen, and if it's not showing up, go down to selected clips, and Alt-F to get this fancy screen, and let's bring up our scopes, and ignoring this part here, because this is the white wall on this image here, let's just see if we can match this graph to this graph. So, using our primary wheels, let's bring those whites down just a little bit, and let's bring those mid-tones down to this area here, just a little bit, and now you have two matching images. So I think this one here is a little less saturated, so I just add a little bit more saturation. Bring those whites up a little bit more. Yeah. And that's what's so great about using the raw or bra settings is we don't have to go through the whole process of white balancing an image and they'll match pretty much perfectly. Uh, these were shot on two different lenses, that's why they're slightly different. I'm not sure how a lens has different contrast saturation, but they do. I'm not a cinematographer, I'm a colorist. So I have no idea how that kind of stuff works. I probably should, but I don't. This is a super handy technique, one that you will use all the time if you're using these settings. I've worked on a project before where they shot on a very highly compressed format, 
with two cameras and one had a completely different white balance to the other one and was very underexposed compared to the other one and it was a absolute nightmare to match but I guess that is the job of a colorist. Hope you've enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. And thanks for watching and have a great day.